Welcome to Burbank Quarantine News, a collection of stories relating to our community, the challenges we're facing in these times, and the positive ways people are coming together to overcome them. I'm Vacha Sapanian. In this episode, we'll examine Burbank's Parks and Recreation Department's free meal service, and we'll speak with Wendy from Aquarium on Parkside. The Burbank Parks and Recreation Department has been distributing free meals for seniors that are unable to access food due to the high risk of contracting COVID-19. Each week, the Burbank Parks and Recreation Department hosts a drive through meal service for these high-risk Burbank residents. Related to this, many local Burbank residents are donating meals to struggling students. The restaurants include Gus's world-famous fried chicken and prime pizza. They're giving out free meals to students that are part of the free or reduced price meal program in their school district. These organizations are going above and beyond to help Burbank citizens. We couldn't be more grateful and proud. Even with the local aquarium closures, families have found a new way to learn not only about marine life, but the benefits of recycled products. Today we interviewed Wendy from Aquarium on Parkside, an art display where kids and families are using recycled materials to participate in craft projects that are bringing joy to the community during this pandemic. Joining us right now via Zoom is Wendy from Aquarium on Parkside. Thank you, Wendy, for taking time out of your busy schedule and joining us today. So we have a few questions for you re um, regarding Aquarium on Parkside. The first is, what was the inspiration for this? So we started our Aquarium on Parkside um, during the pandemic when the aquarium closed and we wanted something that kids could come and look at since they're, they were all out of school, they were being homeschooled and there wasn't anything for them to do. So we started making uh, fish out of recycled materials and putting them in our front yard. And it just kind of exploded from there. Okay, and what kind of reaction have you guys had from the public? So we have met so many of our neighbors. It's been amazing. Um, people have told their friends, who've told their friends, and everybody said that they really like it because it gives them something to do. And we even have some kids who come like every single day. Sorry, that was my cat. Um, <laughs> We have some kids who come by like every single day and one little boy wrote us a note and said it's his favorite aquarium, which was really sweet. Okay, now, what activities are offered for Aquarium on Parkside? So right now we have a contest, make an eel out of a water bottle, and the kids can take just a regular water bottle, a small water bottle, and decorate it like an eel and then put it in our eel cavern. And then we have decorate a meerkat, a bee, a butterfly, a crocodile, a flamingo. There's probably about 12 or 13 different cardboard cutouts that kids can decorate. And then we also have, we're accepting donations for school supplies for kids in South Central Los Angeles. So it gives them an opportunity to also give back. Okay, That's awesome. And yeah, that is actually awesome. It sounds like a lot of fun um, activities that Definitely. kids can come and do. And how many people participate in these um, activities come by to the park side, um, aquarium on the park side and participate? So we did a count of how many cardboard cutout um, creatures have been returned and it's up to about 700. So some kids come by and take, you know, several, but mostly I'd say maybe several hundred people have come by. And we are up to 83 followers on Instagram. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yeah, that is um, really good. So um, I just had a question I wanted to ask, ask. So how can kids come to the park site? Is there any information you could, uh, you could give us right now if they wanted to come over, make some crafts? How does this work? Is there a schedule or? So basically, we're, it's just in our front yard and it's, they're, it's open 24 hours a day. Um, we have all the little cardboard cutouts placed along the curb. So all they have to do is reach over and grab it. So, you know, social distancing, they wear their mm -hmm. little masks, they can come by, so it's safe. Um, and the, the eel contest is gonna go on for a couple more weeks, but they can come by anytime. We're on the corner of Orchard and Parkside in Burbank over by Disney Studios. Okay. Sounds good. I'm sure they will see all those um, creatures and all those um, aquarium like cutouts and everything. Once they uh, drive by the car, it'll stand out. I'm sure they'll see it. Yeah, and then we also yes. have a, um, a Facebook page, an Instagram, and a Twitter account. 
and the uh, Twitter is Our Yard Aquarium. Our Instagram and Facebook page is Aquarium on Parkside. I saw on your website that you're using recycled materials. Would you list those, please? Yeah, so what we've used is we've used a lot of, all our cardboard cutouts are made out of uh, boxes because everybody's received, you know, all the stuff from um, like Amazon and Chewy. So we cut those boxes up and we use those for our cardboard cutouts. And then we've used recycled milk jugs, bottles, um, Nespresso pods. We made a um, pangolin out of Nespresso pods. We've used takeout containers. Um, what else? Bleach oh, a bleach bottle. Basically, any, everything that we, before we put it in our recycle bin, we look at it and say, oh, can we turn this into something for our zoo or our aquarium? And then we encourage kids in the neighborhood to also, in addition to making the cardboard cutouts, they are encouraged to be really creative and make their own. So we had somebody drop off yesterday a snake made out of toilet paper um, cores. And we also made an owl out of paper towel rolls. And what else? Milk jug elephant. Milk jug elephant made by a little boy who's six. A little snake that he made out of a paper towel roll. So whatever happens to be going in the recycle bin, we look at it and say, could we use that for our aquarium and zoo? So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a really... Um a really good idea that you guys are um, keeping kids busy at these times because I think a lot of kids right now are spending way too much time on time on their like you know electronic devices like on their phone or iPads and it's actually a good way to bring the community together and bring the younger kids together and getting them involved in these crafts and making like different animals and creatures since the zoos and aquariums are actually closed at this time so thank you for doing this thank you so much that's it for this episode of Burbank Quarantine News. Stay tuned for more episodes like this as we continue to bring you news stories and interviews from people working to make our community stronger and safer in these challenging times. I'm Vajra Sapanian and thank you for watching Burbank Quarantine News.